Good morning, everybody. The uh, questions are on screen for you there to have a go at. Uh, pause the video here, have a go at them yourself, or have a go along with me. Either is fine. So, the uh, first question talks about ordering numbers, and it wants you to start with the largest. I'm just going to put a note there for me. Now, this links into what I was talking about yesterday. Um, I can't remember whether it was ordering again yesterday, but it's using the same digits. So if you look, this one here is all ones, zeros, and nines, as is this one. This one has one, two, three, uh, zero, six, five. One, two, three, zero, six, five. So they try and trip you up by using the same um, digits throughout. So it's your knowledge of place value. So we're going to... Um, I don't need to write them out, actually. Just going to check they've all got the same place value. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they're all seven digit numbers, which means they are all uh, one million and something. Something, something, something. So let's get rid of all that junk because I don't need it. So the first place value column is the millions. They've all got a one in it. One, 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 one. Then you've got zero, 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 and then a two. So this is the uh, hundred thousands column. This has a two in it. The rest have zero. So that's got to be the biggest number. So I just put my. Where's my? Oh, there he is. Disappeared. So one, two, three. Oh, six, five, oh, which is one million two hundred thirty thousand six hundred fifty. Okay. So let's get rid of that one. Then I need the next biggest. So then next place value we've got zero, zero, two. So it's this one. Sorry, it's not right. Oh, because I'm on the rubber. There you go. So it's that one. One, zero, two, three, oh, six, five, which is uh, one million and twenty-three thousand and sixty-five. So I've now used this one. So now it's just these two to work out. So two. So you've got. I've done three place value columns. Zero, zero. You've got nine, nine. But then you've got zero, nine. So it's this one. It's not much use for just saying this one, is it? Uh, so it's one, zero, zero, nine, nine, oh, nine, which is one million and nine thousand nine hundred and nine. Yeah, that's fine. I was just checking I've got that right. And then it's one, zero, zero, nine, zero, nine, nine. And you can see the difference there. Okay. I'm uh, writing on my lap this morning, which is why it looks so messy. So that's the answer. So you've got 1,230,650, 1,023,000, blah, 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 1,009,909, 1 1,009,099. Okay. And hopefully that um, has shown you the importance of really paying attention to the place value because the digits are there to trick you. Next one, 7 out of 15. is the same as 30 subtract a box. Set of scales, this side must be the same as the 30 subtract. 7 out of 15 is 22, because 7 out of 14 is 21. No in your times table, so you add the extra one on, 22. is the same as 30 subtract, well it's 8, isn't it? So 30 subtract 8 is 22. So the answer in the blue box would be 8. The numbers in this sequence increase by 45 each time, do they? That's nice. Um, you've got a box, 155, 200, 245, a box, and a box. This one's really easy, this one, because I know what 45 out of 45 is, it's 90, so that's going to be 290, so that's really easy to do straight away. Um, add 10 to 290, you get to 300, and then I've got 35 of the 45 left to add on. So this is going to be, oops, 3, 3, 5. So I don't know what 90 add 45 is, but I can partition the 45 into uh, 10 and 35 to make that job a bit easier. Here, 155 subtract 45 is going to be 110. Okay, 110 add 40 would be 150, add the 5 on would be 155. 
So your answers are 110, 290, and two, uh, sorry, 335. Three five seven six two one nine. What digit is in the ten thousands column? Again, I'm not going to write this one out. Use the commas to help you. This is obviously the hundreds. That's the thousands. That's the hundred thousand. That's the comma between hundred thousand and million. That's the million, which means that this seven is the digit in the ten thousands, and it does say what digit. So the answer is seven, not seven hundred thousand. That's wrong because it does say what digit, and the digit is a seven. Three quarters of 400. Hopefully, you, some of you may well know it just like that, but I'll talk you through the calculation. If you find a three quarters of an amount, or you might find a fraction, you divide by the denominator, or the bottom, and then you times by the numerator. So you're gonna take 400, divide it by four, which is 100, and then you're gonna times it by three, which equals 300, which is your answer, 300. Three, we're not writing. Three, five, seven, six, two, one, nine, to the nearest million. That's the uh, millions place value column. Um, easily identifiable because of the use of commas in the question. You look one place value column to the right, it's a five, it rounds up, so it's going to round to four million. Put my commas back in. Okay. No, I don't need to do that. Uh, two, uh, two fifths times three. Okay. Good question, this. Oh, for goodness sake, I'll just leave it. Two fifths multiplied by three. Okay, we've looked at this before in class. We've looked at this in questions that I've been doing online, but it's um, worth a refresh. So, you have a pizza. I won't talk for very long, I promise. You have a pizza and you eat... Oh, no, it's split into fifths, sorry. Yeah, there you go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, worst splitting ever. Bearing in mind, they should all be equal. That's me just being rubbish. So, you've eaten two-fifths. Okay? But you eat that three times. The denominator doesn't change. The whole pizza still has five equal pieces. Okay. By eating more pizza, you don't get more pizza. The amount of pizza on your table still stays the same. You've just eaten more of it. So you've eaten two-fifths there. Then you've eaten another two-fifths there. And then you've eaten another two-fifths there. You've had that one. And then you snuck your mum or your dad's slice of pizza as well there. Okay, maybe they had like pineapple on it or something and you fancied it. So, you've eaten one, two, three, four, five, six, fifths. Fifths stays the same because that's telling you, the denominator is telling you how many equal parts make a whole. Just because you've eaten more doesn't mean you get more parts in a whole. <laughs> okay? Now, the mathematical way of calculating that is you, the denominator stays the same, the numerator gets multiplied by this, and then you get your new numerator there. So, it's six fifths. But, in this calculation, you've now got an improper fraction. Six-fifths has a bigger numerator than it has denominator, which means that you have to convert it to a mixed number. So, how many groups of five can you make from six? How many whole pizzas can you make? You can make one whole pizza, as you can see there, and you've got one-fifth left over. So, one or one-fifth is the answer. Okay. If you've got six-fifths, you're on the right lines, but you need to identify that six-fifths is an improper fraction and it can't uh, be given as an answer unless the question specifies leave it as improper. Ten times fifty-six. Easy. Um, well, easy to me. I'm hoping that you can spot that you could just do fifty-six times ten uh, rather than trying to do fifty-six groups of ten. You swap it around and just... Do 56 and then move everything one place value column to the right, which means that you get 500. And, oh, did I say right? Left. One place value column to the left, which means you get 560. Okay. 56, tens, units, hundreds. You multiply by 10, so everything moves one place value column to the left. The five tens now sits in the 500s and so on and so on. Okay. Because remember that multiplication is commutative. You can do it either way. You can do 10 times 56 or 56 times 10. 
56 times 10 is probably the easier calculation to do, so you just swap it around. 2 thirds, uh, not 2 thirds, sorry, 2 cubed, add 2 squared. Okay, so a square number means that you times it by itself. So you're going to do 2 times 2, which is going to equal 4. Okay, 2 cubed means that you times it by itself 3 times. So you're going to do 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2, we've already done, is 4. And 4 times 2 is 8. Okay, so 8 at 4 is the question, and obviously the answer to that is 12. Okay, so 2 cubed at 2 squared is 12. Right, some uh, slightly harder questions today. I quite enjoyed those, actually. Um, I hope that you did too. I hope that was the highlight of your day, and um, you look forward to these lovely, fantastic maths videos every day because I know I do. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow.